Greetings and salutations, rest of humanity and possibly and it is your boy for Geezy Gaming or Daniel, whichever one you prefer coming at you guys in another video. And today I'm going to be showing you guys a Fallout 4 Unlimited Bottle Cap glitch. Now, this uh, glitch isn't nothing to do with vendors, it's more to do with looting, but it is one of the best farms in the game. Now, what I suggest you guys have for this is a companion. I have Curie here and some power armor and a decent weapon. Or you guys could go in however you want, however your playstyle is. But I suggest having these items because it is a little tough doing this farm. But it is well worth it in the end. As you could make up to, I did it twice and I made 700 and something caps. And the uh, two times I did this alone, which 700 caps is a lot. Now what you guys are going to want to do is go to your house, get your power armor, get your follower. Get a decent weapon. If you already have decent weapons, great. I suggest you be a kind of a high level to do this. It's really not that hard to do. All you have to do is kill enemies, but they are a little bit tough if you are low level. Now, where this is located is actually way up here at a place called Parsons State Insane Asylum. It's right next to Parsons Creamery and right next to Lynn Woods. Uh, if you guys don't know where that is, I'm going to bring you guys uh, right here to the Museum of Witchcraft. Right here, Parsons, uh, and, and State Insane Asylum. And now for you new people, here is Vault 111. And if you just drag your map marker straight across all the way here, you will hit, uh, you will hit, uh, Parsons State Insane Asylum. Guys, anyways, place your map marker somewhere around here. You, uh, see this little Y kind of triangle tree branch thing? Just place your map marker right there. And, uh, of course, I already have the fast travel unlocked. But here is where the glitch begins. Once you guys get here, all you're going to do is start killing these mercenaries. Now these mercenaries spawn all the time. They have an unlimited spawn, and I'll show you what I mean in a second. You just take all their stuff that's worth looting, and you basically sell it to the vendor of your choice or whoever. Uh, there is plenty more mercenaries. We just got to go around to the side here and check for them. They're actually all around here. As you can see, there's another mercenary right there just standing there for some apparent reason what you guys are gonna do is go over here uh, kill him I suggest you get sneak attacks on these guys because they are a little bit difficult to kill uh, again wear combat armor where uh, take your best weapons into this combat scenario and just do the best you can against these guys because they're really 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 tough now once you guys kill those you I suggest jumping out of this little hole here I suggest taking that route I took. Jump out of that little hole there. I know it took me a few times. Run all the way around. This is a painstaking process. Once you guys have gotten over here, you guys are just going to want to run all the way over there. You see where it says Insane Asylum Gate. Just keep on, keep on, keep on, on and run all the way over here. Once you guys are here, you'll be greeted by even more mercenaries. Now these mercenaries are constantly spawning all the time, 24/7. But for this instance, I'm going to use a stim pack and I'm going to start whacking the shit out of these guys. He got away from me. Come here, come here! I'm gonna smack the shit out of you. Die, Just die. And you guys basically loot them, loot as much as you can with them. And when you fill up, I have a feeling my guy's about to fill up on combat armor and chest pieces and stuff like that once you guys fill up you then have your follower carry all your gear once there's no more enemies to be found like like for now you see there's no more enemies to be found we walked all the way around just trade with your follower basically trade all your uh, combat armor that you took off taken off these enemies be careful not to trade in your own armor uh, because you don't want to wind up selling that by accident. Um, you guys do also get stim packs and 45 rounds from this. You guys can see I have 1,022 45 rounds uh, because they do constantly drop this. Uh, they also drop these weapons here, these short combat rifles that are worth 117 a piece. You guys basically store them, and that's what you do. As you can see here, another one spawned. Uh, I don't know why they keep on spawning. They just do. I suggest you use this before Bethesda goes and patches it. They have lots of stuff. Some of them even have really, really good armor and stuff like that. Uh, we've seen that guy had a lot of armor and stuff on him. 
Anyways, what you guys then do after you guys have cleared everyone, make sure there's no more enemies. All you guys do is pull up your map, go to your house, put that stuff away or sell it, and then go to sleep for 24 hours. What you want to do is come up to your bed or wherever and go to sleep. You guys are going to go to sleep for 24 hours. So once it'll count down 24, 23, and I'll see you guys in a second. Alrighty, guys, once the 24 hours is up and you have slept, uh, I forgot to say this in the beginning. It, what From what I have read, it doesn't affect any main quest whatsoever, and uh, it only affects a side quest, and I believe you can actually still do the side quest. So this really affects nothing if you guys are kind of concerned about that little aspect or element of it. Anyways, guys, all you guys do is go back outside your house after the 24 hours that you've slept. All right, guys, once you are outside your house or wherever you reside, all you guys do is go back to this uh, Parsons State Insane Asylum. All right, guys, once you are here again, there will be new mercenaries. All you guys are going to want to do is come around on through this way, run on through the side here, and I bet you will see a mercenary standing right there like a loser. As you can see, we see two mercenaries standing right here like idiots. We're going to go up to them and we're going to give them a fresh piece of fucking sledgehammer to the face. Saw the enemies again and rinse, wash, and repeat the process. Why is it stop? Hey, hey, you're going to make the video longer, you little bastard. Die. You guys then take all their armor, all their everything that they have once again. As you can tell, we're getting stim packs, we're getting armor from this, and we are getting 45 rounds, which is really, really amazing. Again, guys, sorry, I, I kind of had to walk away from the console there. Then again, all you guys are going to do is jump out of the hole once again, walk all the way around, kill, ev kill those more enemies over there uh, at the beginning of the area like we did before. Alrighty, guys, we're over here, and we can see there's another two mercenaries right here. So we're just going to let my little thing build up here, and I'm going to power swing on them. But I can't power swing on them, so I'm just going to start beating the crap out of them. You guys come in here to the beginning again. Start killing them once again. Take all their armor, all their weapons. Whoa. You guys then give it to your companion once you get full. Just hand everything to your companion until you are now free to move about. Come over here, kill this enemy again. Watch out for the grenades. They threw throw grenades and they are a difficult enemy to kill. As you can see, there's a lot more of them now. Uh, they just started spawning in like crazy for some reason. And they just keep on keep on spawning sometimes. And you guys could earn thousands and thousands of cap. For, for an hour's worth of work, you guys could probably earn about maybe realistically 10,000 caps. Uh... I know, 10,000 caps, that is quite a bit. Anyways, that's all you guys do. Just keep on smacking them, keep on killing them. Uh, keep on coming back, going back to your home, waiting for 24 hours, and selling them to the merchant of your choosing, guys. Alright, guys, as I was saying, sorry, I had to walk away from the console once again. I do apologize for that. But all you guys do is basically rinse, wash, and repeat this method. Killing all the enemies... Uh, over and over and over and over and over and over they do continuously spawn this is about my fifth time doing this actually uh not in a row but uh it's my fifth time doing it um basically here and there but it is a really good glitch it gives you unlimited bottle caps unlimited stim packs and unlimited ammo guys anyways guys been your boy freaky's gaming i love each and every single one of you i'll see you guys right back here tomorrow if this guide does help you in any way please leave me that like comment and subscribe for the best Fallout 4 how-to videos, the best places to loot and find materials, all the unique weapon and armor locations, all the bobblehead locations, all the tips and tricks and glitches, the best building guys, and much more coming to the channel soon. Anyways, guys, it's been your boy Freaky's Gaming. I love each and every single one of you. I'll see you guys right back here tomorrow. And remember, stay freaky.